Our topic is about farmers' acceptance of agriculture diversification measures. Our group members are Stella, Abdul, Mariana, Ali, and me. Today, Mariana and me will give the presentation. Yeah, here comes uh, to what is known for crop diversification. The next slide. Yeah, crop diversification measures are art of cultivating more than one crop. They are spatial time or genetic diversification, but uh, crop diversification is more than just adding one crop. Next, uh, there are factors influence the use of crop diversification measures by farmers. It includes the complexity in production systems and actor involved, also gap between research and practice with farmers in the center. But we know that there is little known about farmers' criteria to adopt crop diversification practice. Only some case studies have been done in China, Africa, and in Europe, but only in Germany and France. Here we have a meta analysis of global studies about diversification. We can see that diversification strategies are identified in seven strategies. The rotation as the most adopted crop uh, diversification strategies in the world. However, we still don't know what are farmers' criteria to adopt crop diversification uh, measures, uh, especially in Europe. So here we come our um, big questions. Our question is what are farmers' criteria towards the use of crop diversification practice in Europe? Our object is to understand farmers' criteria to adopt or not crop diversification practice in Europe. And then the floor turns to Mariana to introduce our research question and methodology. So uh, following what Mensha was presenting, we defined four specific research questions. The first one that will be achieved at a regional scale, and then the second, third, and fourth uh, questions that will be achieved at a regional or local scale. So our first research question refers to what are crop diversification practices uh, that are used in Europe and what are farmers rationals to use those practices? For this question, we set two hypotheses. First, that there is high variability of practices across, across regions within Europe and that the main practice is agroforestry. And, se and second, that the level of adoption on farmers' rationals differ among the regions. Then, at a more local scale, we define our second research question. What are the main factors that influence farmers' intention to adopt crop diversification practices? And here we expect that group norms and perceived ecological benefits have positive effect on farmers' intention to adopt uh, crop diversification strategies. Our third question is which adoption obstacles or barriers are perceived as most important by farmers? And for this, we hypothesize that technical knowledge, mechanization, implementation costs, and market access are among the most important obstacles identified by them. And finally, our fourth question is what are farmers' criteria in selecting crop diversification practices? And here we said that uh, the economic criteria are the main criteria uh, select and put forward by farmers in selecting crop diversification strategies. So, so to answer this question, or to address these four questions, we propose a two years project uh, where we will start from an European scale, so to answer research question one, and then uh, go down to a country and a region, regional scale to research question two, three, and four. So we will start with literature review and making interviews to experts, in particular, uh, people leading big projects that are being carried out in Europe related to intercropping on cropping diversification practices. 
uh, this is the case, for example, of Remix project or driver impact or lake value project that were also mentioned in this uh, course. Uh, with this previous information, we will, we will uh, develop and implement a general survey to ask about main practices known and used by farmers and since when, and the reasons behind using or not them. Uh, this survey will consist on a, an easy form and we will implement it with the coordination and collaboration uh, of a local institutions in each country. Uh, after this, and with this information, we will select some countries and regions and we will go deeper on their study to answer our research question two, three and four. So for this, we will process and analyze the information of the first stage through mapping and typology construction. And according to this, we will select three countries and in each country, three regions uh, where we will work. The final selection will be defined, of course, by the results of the previous stage, uh, but we are going to uh, take into account the criteria of having contrasting situation according to the level of implementation of practices and also the type of practices that are uh, dominant. In each region, uh, we will be, um, will be sorry, a local research team and also integrated with local people involving and with leadership of these local people that will work um, with focus group involving farmers that use and farmers that don't use uh, diversification practices. At this level, we will combine the use of survey with interviews, in deep interviews and direct observations on farm, and we will also develop workshops. We will use uh, an adapt adaptation of the theory of plant behavior because we are going to also include some uh, variables related to socioeconomical and technical factors. So this is just uh, an overview of the planning and time uh, timeline. So we plan to develop this project in two years, starting with this general characterization at European level and going locally to better understand each practice uh, each particular case, their practices and the reasons, because as we see also uh, previously in this course, the answer to our questions uh, are very context dependent and site specific. And also in one region we are going, or we expect to have very heterogeneous, uh, heterogeneous uh, very different uh, situations. So as a result of this project, we expect to know or to have knowledge about the main crop diversification practices in Europe and the rationale that is behind their use. Also, uh, the factors influencing farmers' adoptions of crop diversification practices uh, will be identified. Farmers' perception of adoption, obstacles and barriers will be known. And finally, the um, criteria put forward by, by these farmers in selecting uh, the different crop diversification practices will be identified. We also think that these results together with the consolidation of a local team of researchers and farmers in each region that know and trust each other uh, and are engaged also in this process will be the starting point of new actions oriented research project. Uh, where through approaches like the co-innovation or co-learning um, approaches that we also discussed, common problems and visions could be identified and alternatives could be co-designed, tried and evaluated. But this is our first step. So, almost finishing, there is a necessity of strengthening the bridge between research and practice. Farmers' decision plays a central role in the sustainability of food production systems, and so we need and we should take into account, and as a central point, what are their needs, their reasons, and their criteria of doing what they are doing now, and why uh, they are not doing some things today. So, we think this process, project, sorry, 
has relevance for farmers and farmers organizations to motivate and raise the awareness to make the changes and innovations that meet farmer situations and interests. Moreover, also for researchers, will provide understanding on farmers' needs, vision, and criteria to manage their system, so we will contextualize in a better way our research uh, and be more effective also in our actions. And also this will contribute to the theoretical debate about the content and the model methodology also to work with them. For policymakers, that will have inform uh, they will have information that will contribute to guide the direction of future intervention to encourage farmers' adoption of crop diversification practices. And finally, we also think that this project has relevance also for the society in general, as the result uh, will contribute to a general um, population, yes, because it's going to contribute to a more sustainable food system and access to health food with lower environmental impact. So this is our project about understanding the farmers criteria to adopt or not adopt crop diversification practices in Europe. So thank you and we are open to your questions and your feedbacks.